to Boat Training Department. Today I'm going to bring you this Four Winds Dutchman International. It is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the better C classes that you can get. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the slide outs out now while I'm stood still just to give you an idea of it. We've got two slide outs on this side then I'll meet you on the other side. So I'll just do that now. Give me a moment and then, then you can see what it's like out. Okay so just doing the first one first. So out goes the lounge. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Creaking a bit. Okay. And then do the next one, which is the bedroom. Okay. Just going to put that one out. Okay, so, right, just to give you an idea of this van, just walk around the other side, we've obviously got the lower lockers there, that will give you the uh, access points to your um, uh, wastewater and your grey water which will come out the bottom there, and you've got your fuel tank on that side as well. Around the rear here we've got uh, three wheels at the back here, they're actually quite good because because the overhang, if you bottom out on a ramp or anything, you're not going to be taking the back end of your motorhome out, which is, uh, which is obviously a good idea. This is under 7.5 tonne, so it's quite good from the point of view of license because the vast majority of RVs are over 7.5 tonne. Got a reversing camera as well, ladder up to the roof, more lockers that do various bits and pieces. But what we're going to do now is just show you on the inside. I actually forgot to switch the engine off, but Mr. Cameraman, come on inside and I'll show you the bits on the inside. Okay. So, let's just switch the engine off as well. You've got a 6.8 V8 engine. It's actually running on petrol, but as soon as you start up, it switches to gas more or less straight away because that's what you want for economy. In here's the lounge. Obviously, when the slide outs are in, you can still walk up and down here, but this settee here, this actually makes into uh, a sofa bed and you've got seat belts underneath as well. So that's quite good. Lovely leather, love it, absolutely fantastic. Talk about leather, those seats at the front there, brilliant to sit in, absolutely gorgeous. They both swivel around as well, um, which is another handy thing. You've got a Jensen uh, television up there. All right, it's a bit uh, bit outdated, but nonetheless, you've got a television. You can update your television, I suppose, and get yourself a, a more modern uh, flat screen television. Coming inside, uh, now we've got the uh, sink unit on this side. Well appointed, as, as with all RVs, just absolutely fabulous the way they make this up. So you've got a double sink, obviously one for rinse off and one for washing. And you've got a little uh, side table there to actually give you some more workspace. Burn Hobd, obviously this is working off your LPG gas for the cooking side. You've got two LPG tanks, one for driving and one for uh, cooking with and heating with. So that's what this one is. Talking about heating, you've also got a habitation aircon system in here as well. So plenty to cool down that's operated by this fan system over here. Uh, coming in this way a little bit then you've got uh, your uh, water pump and test levels to check uh, you know obviously on your systems uh, and that's your retracted extend button uh, for the slide out. Large fridge freezer separate freezer obviously to the fridge so there we go there um, quite quite large so you've got plenty of room there to, to store whatever and of course that will work off gas and uh, off uh, electric as well or is it primarily gas that's a good question actually because it looks like it's just gas but I would have thought it was uh, both ways anyway you've got a vanity sink here uh, with a mirror a vanity mirror as well and uh, Mr. Cameron's going to go in through the bedroom and as you see on the bedroom here you've got uh, wardrobes and chest of drawers on there and then your uh, um, island bed, it's a bit of an island, it's quite a small island, but nonetheless it's an island. And then uh, through on this side, Mr. Cameron's going to come around and you will see in there then you've got the uh, shower room, separate shower with a toilet facility as well. Uh, so it is it's quite a large shower and ba uh, bathroom there, so absolutely fabulous. Um, plenty of room in there. Um, and then obviously this uh, can be uh, oh, so the divider tug is there to divide off this cantilever divider to divide off the room from, from this forward bit here. Absolutely fabulous van. It's unlike a motorhome, you've got everything on board here. You've got black water tanks, so you haven't got to mess about with uh, toilet cassettes. Excuse me, it's a bit hot today. 
um, doing this video, so excuse the sweating. Uh, black water tanks, which is obviously very, very good because then you haven't got to mess about with cassettes, so it's very, very good. You empty the black water tank before you empty the grey water tank in a designated area, or you can actually empty it into a cassette to roll it away to wherever you want to empty it. And you've got, obviously, your um, uh, fresh water tank as well. You've got a generator on board as well. It uh, gives you more power, um, and that will work your, uh, obviously, your sockets that you've got on board. Um, and what's the other thing I was going to mention? Oh, I've forgotten there was something else. <laughs> Trying to do this without auto cue is very, very hard. It's a 2009 Four Winds Dutchman Dorado 26 VE. Uh, it's one of the rare ones that are gold. In actual fact, it's been star of an ITV show uh, with the uh, the three chefs. You know, uh, what are those three maniac chefs? Whatever their names are. Anyway, it's been uh, it's, it's had a it's had a wonderful time. In actual fact, and I'm hoping that somebody will take this way and enjoy it as well because it is an absolute fabulous vehicle compared to an ordinary motorhome. Anyway, come and see it.